This is question 10 from paper 1 in the 2014 National 5 Maths exam. We're given a graph, sine graph. It doesn't just come up to 1 and go down to negative 1 as the normal sine graph does. It goes up to 3 and down to negative 3. And you'll notice it's been shifted to the right by 40 degrees. And we're asked to find the values of A and B. Well, before we do that, let's have a wee look at our animation of the sine graph to see what's happening. So here's a typical sine curve, starting out at 0, up to 1, down to 0, down to negative 1, back up to 0. And all that's done in a period of 360 degrees, and then it repeats. We're going to have a look at the effect of altering this number that's multiplying the sine of x. b in, in this case is just 0 just now, so just ignore that. We've got one lot of sine x being shown. If we increase the value of a, notice what happens to the amplitude. We're now multiplying sine x by 2. We've got an amplitude of 2. Around this x-axis, the sine values go up to 2 and down to negative 2. The amplitude's 2. Now the amplitude's 3. So multiplying by a number in front of the sine x alters the amplitude. And the amplitude that we're looking at in this question is 3. Adding a number to the angle x, let's just have a look. There's adding 10, adding 20, adding 30 adding 40, and so on. You notice when we add numbers, the graph moves to the left. When we subtract numbers, there's adding negative 10, that's like subtracting 10, the graph moves to the right. And in this case, we're adding negative a number, I think negative 40, Taking away 40 uh, would produce a graph that's 40 degrees to the right. So let's go back to the question and see if we can now answer it. So with an amplitude of a, uh, an amplitude of 3, we've got a value for a of 3. And with a shift to the right of 40, We've got a value for b that would be minus 40. Remember, positive 40 shifted the graph to the left, not to the right. So b would have a value of minus 40. 